Hey everybody, um, guess what? We're here for Frugal Friday, take two, because I messed up and did some technical difficulties, and so we're gonna do it again. So if you saw it, watched it live the first time, man, you're a professional, you're gonna be good. It's so much better the second time around, get ready. <laughs> yeah, of course. So if you didn't watch it the first time, um, I just wanna introduce ourselves. Um, we, my name is Ashley, and this is my husband Chase, um, and we are really excited now because we're doing it twice um, to be kicking off the Frugal Friday series to just give you some tips about how you can uh, make your Young Living products stretch a little further, um, maybe even hopefully save you a little bit of money. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about using a few things you may have around your house and um, making some bath salts. So we are going to talk. We're going to use our empty bottles. And we've been uh, using Young Living products for a little over three years now. So as you can probably imagine, we got one or two bottles that we've used up that are kind of lying around. Jeez. <laughs> um, so yeah. So that's just a few of our empty bottles. Um, so of course you're going to need empty bottles of oils. You will also need. Um, a bowl. I would suggest using a, a ceramic bowl because if you've used Young Living for any amount of time, um, you know that you don't want to use plastic for your citrus oils or blends that have citrus oils. Um, so use a metal or a ceramic bowl. Um, so you'll want to have a bowl. You'll want to have an empty jar. Um, we got this one at Walmart, a set of like 12 for, you know, a a few bucks super cheap um, you might want to have your you know a measuring cup um, if that's how you roll and then of course you'll want some Epsom salt so um, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bowl and um, you, like I said you can either measure your Epsom salt um, I prefer to just I kind of just throw it in there make it work um, eyeball it me I don't like to eyeball things I need a little bit of structure I kind of like to measure stuff. Um, so, in order to appease my sweet husband, um, we did measure it. I used half a cup um, of Epsom salt because conveniently, that is what our jar holds. So I put half a cup of Epsom salt um, in our bowl, um, and then you're gonna go grab your empty bottles. So we actually, since we're doing take two on our video, <laughs> our bowl, as you can see, is already full of lavender. But just so you kind of see what we did, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your, your oil bottle, you're gonna unscrew the top, and the top you're always gonna notice is gonna have some residue inside there. You're gonna bury that down in the Epsom salt. You're going to take the dropper here at the top of the bottle, you're gonna pull that out, and you're gonna drop that down in the salt as well, and then you'll just take the bottle, turn it upside down, and that's gonna help the oil just to naturally run out and be absorbed up by the Epsom salt. So um, the reason you want to do this is we've all, you know, looked at our empty bottles um, or the bottles that we thought were empty and we look in the bottle of them and we think, man, it really looks like there's like one or two more drops um, and you're like shaking it and shaking it and nothing's coming out. And you're right. It's not going to come out um, because um, whenever we're done with our oils, they, they always leave a little bit of residue in the bottle. So when we... Um, put it in the Epsom salt, the Epsom salt draws all that residue, not only out of the bottle, but the, um, the oil off of the lid, off of the dropper. If you're using uh, an oil with a roller ball, put that roller ball in there. I mean, put like, put everything in the Epsom salt. Put it all in there. Mm, yes, and let it, let it soak it all up. Um, so once you have done that, you've put your, uh, your bottles in, you're just gonna let it sit. Um, here, like, a, like you, as you, Hopefully you can see. We used four bottles of lavender. Um, last night we did one and we just used three bottles. It really just depends um, what you have, of course, and then um, also just how strong you want it. So like I said, last night we went ahead and made um, one jar of the lavender salt. Um, we actually let it set, instead of just overnight, we had it sit for 24 hours. You could probably let it sit out for even longer. It just depends um, how patient you want to be and how, again, how strong you want the Epsom salt to smell. So we use, um, we made the lavender salt because I love putting lavender in my bath. Um, typically what I would do before I made this is 
Just grab a handful of Epsom salt, sprinkle it in the bathtub, and then put a few drops of lavender in there. Um, it really helps me wind down after a long day. Um, it promotes relaxation. I'd be lying if I didn't say I fell asleep sometimes in the bathtub when I use lavender. But when I do this, I'm not using my current bottle of lavender. Um, I, it saves me money big time that way. And it's just easier because I just can just go ch -ch 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 instead of oh, let's do this, now let's do this. No, it's just super easy. So. Well, if you're like me, and you're not really a bath guy, you're a little bit more of a shower guy. You're kind of thinking, I don't really know what bath salts are gonna do for me. Well, think about this. A couple weeks ago, came home, my dogs were barking, and I might have been walking around the house dropping a few hints, trying to score a foot rub. Did I score a foot rub? Not exactly. What I did score was this. Ashley actually put together some deep relief and created a salt solution for me that I can actually make a foot soak with. So I just take this, make a soak with this, and put my feet in, and it's incredible. It's been awesome since I started using it. Um, the one thing that I will say, um, this is a little, a little extra because it wasn't in the first video. Free charge. Yeah. Um, as, you know, as you probably know, Deep Relief um, comes in a roller bottle. That sucker is hard to get off. We actually have to use needle nose pliers. Um, but again, we put that ball in there. We uh, put the little thing that holds the ball. It, would, it all went in Epsom salt. Um, and so it was, a, it was well worth it. Um, another thing that you can do, maybe... Eps, you know, bath salt or even um, uh, a foot soak is not for you. Um, you can't, a lot of people make um, skin scrubs, uh, what am I thinking, salt scrubs for their skin to exfoliate, um, they feel nice. Um, another thing that I would say really quickly is these are great Christmas gifts, whether it is for your child's teacher, for a friend, for your mother-in-law. Um, these are great gifts and you're not spending much money. All you're really having to buy is the Epsom salt, if you don't have it around the house, and an empty jar. And I mean, heck, wash out a bottle of pickles, a jar of pickles, and use that jar and save you more money. Just wash it out. Yeah, just wash it out. So, um, going back to the, uh, the, the salt scrub that you can do, you can do the same thing. Uh, mix your Epsom salt um, with your oil, put it in a jar, and then mix up some coconut oil to make an awesome salt scrub. Um, one thing that I have, one salt scrub that I have made in the past is I have used grapefruit and peppermint. It smells awesome. It feels awesome in the shower. Um, and so again, great gift idea, another way to save money. Um, we are also, uh, another bath soak that we are gonna make is for our little one. And we have some empty bottles of Gentle Baby. We're gonna make um, some salts for him to put in his bath. He loves Gentle Baby. It uh, works like a charm for him. And so we, I'm excited to add that to his nighttime bath, especially after we've had a bit of a long day. A Let's just be honest. Um, and then one other quick idea of what you can do. Again, make your lavender salts. Put it in your put it in your bowl with your empty bottles. Let it sit out, and then one thing that we did is we got um, a spray bottle. Again, it's glass, so um, it, you know lavender is not going to affect anything else. But glass is always it's just better. It's uh, more it's safer. Um, so we have filled it pretty much with water, pretty much all the way, and then you get just a quarter teaspoon. Get a little bit of your lavender salt, and I'm not going to put it in there because I've already done it and we're using it, and it's awesome. And you just put it in there, shake it up a little bit, and then spray it on your pillow before you go to bed. You'll thank me. You'll thank me. Another awesome use is, you know, my mom, whenever she has company come into town, she feels like I gotta run in there and I gotta take all the sheets off the bed. And you I gotta throw got them in the wash. That? Nobody's got okay. time for that. So mm -hmm. I've recommended for her to make the spray as well. Go in there, spray the linens down, spray the pillows down, give her oh, an awesome it's so fresh nice smell. In here. That's right, people love it. Um, so we hope that this has just been just a little quick tip, some quick tips of what you can do with your empty bottles. Hopefully save you some money. And just keep watching Sublime for posts for the next Frugal Friday video. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks. Bye guys. Bye.